is mainly to um, talk about the link between agriculture, forestry and climate policies. Yes, we have um, also started a consultation process um, um, about uh, how to include emissions and removals from agriculture, land use and forestry um, into um, the EU's 2030 climate and energy framework. Um, and uh, that stakeholder consultation was launched earlier this year in um, March, um, was completed in June. And well, we hope uh, that we can uh, uh, present a more thorough analysis of that uh, uh, stakeholder consultation than after the summer that will be done uh, in Brussels. The next steps uh, um, are that uh, we are currently um, also working on an impact assessment uh, for making a legal um, um, proposal. Uh, the results from the stakeholder consultation will be included into that impact assessment. Um, and then in 2016, um, the College of the uh, European uh, uh, Commission will um, most likely table a legal proposal uh, which will um, show the way forward, um, how the emissions um, from agriculture and the land use sector and forestry should be included between 2020 and 2030 in the EU's climate policy. A lot of progress has been made in Ireland and in other member states of the European Union over the past uh, um, um, decade in uh, um, reducing um, um, emissions uh, from, from the agriculture sector, which went along with uh, increased uh, carbon efficiency. Um, but uh, we think uh, um, that's not the end of the story. Uh, uh, further improvements are, are possible uh, um, and uh, um, that, that should be um, uh, one of the objectives for the coming years.